A renowned radiation oncologist from Turkey talks about his education and experience. He trained in Turkey and the United States and did his fellowship in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He worked on radiation therapy in combination with hypothermia. Procedures include radiation therapy in combination with hypothermia, cyberknife, IMRT, and chemotherapy. This is a two-part video series. In general, if we need to uh, radiate uh, different parts, that is, with different doses, then I prefer IMRT. For example, if, if, we, if we have a patient with a nasopharyngeal cancer, we definitely need to irradiate bilateral uh, neck too. Even, even if there is, no, uh, there is no lump in the neck. So we need to, in that case, we need to uh, concentrate on those two uh, nasopharynx, but we also give a lower uh, level of dose to the neck. So in this case, we definitely need uh, IMRT. But uh, in some cases, such as uh, acoustic neuronomas in the brain or meningiomas, uh, when the lesions are very close to uh, critical structures and the uh, 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 margins are uh, visible, then in those cases I definitely use cyber knife. So uh, the selection of the technique depends on the case. Cyber knife is an excellent device to give radiation to previously irradiated regions. We, uh, we use it for acoustic neuronomas uh, and meningiomas. Those are benign tumors, actually. But because of their locations, they may be very uh, problem problematic. Uh, we had many patients with lung cancer. And we had very good results uh, with, uh, in lung cancer cases. We use it for pancreatic cancer sometimes alone or sometimes in combination with IMRT. Uh, we use it for prostate cancer. We recently had many patients with liver metastasis. Liver is very sensitive to radiation. Until recently, we were, we were not able to use radiation for uh, liver metastasis, but with the amount of uh, cyberknife, we can easily treat uh, liver metastasis with radiation. Uh, in general, theoretically, we can use cyberknife uh, for tumors in any location. And uh, as I said earlier, especially uh, in previously irradiated uh, patients, cyberknife may give a second chance uh, to the patients, of course, in some selected patients cases. Okay. In last so three or four years, we have been receiving many patients from uh, from other countries, uh, mainly from Bulgaria, Romania, uh, then uh, Turkish-speaking countries, uh, Kosovo, uh, some uh, patients from Arabic countries. So we, we had some patients from very far away countries too. We had some patients from Australia, from Canada, from Portugal, uh, but the bulk of the patients are from uh, the Balkans. Uh, we generally uh, give second opinion. That means uh, if, we, if, we, if, uh, if we receive the uh, documents about pathology, about uh, the, the medical history, uh, about the recent uh, situation and uh, previous treatments. Then we can, and if you see the uh, images, then we can uh, give a rough idea if the patient is suitable for cyberknife or IMRT, uh, we can give an idea. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote.